Hey, so I'm gonna tell you a story. Basically, be me, download CFRs to use in your park, and then you place a CFR and it's a CFR that you've already placed like 10 meters away from that one. And I didn't even realize. So yeah, this little uh, custom flat right over there. It's obviously, it's obviously one that I already placed in my park. I have no idea why I placed that thing again. I forgot that I placed it or something. I was just like, hey, I might as well place that. But that just was a waste of time. So I'll have to remove that thing later on. But anyway, it's time to finish this area. So I just decided that's going to be uh, fences, right? Because... I don't know, but for some reason my brain just can't rest unless all of the path work is looking okay. That's the point where I can move on to general stuff around the paths. I have no idea. The only problem with this area is that it's really hard to get a sort of general idea because I'm still not really sure about things. For example, these little things in the middle. Because on one hand, I don't want this entire area to be path, obviously, because not a big fan of big paths and it just looks empty and stuff like that but then again that you have those little areas over there and i don't want to place too much foliage in it because then it would block the skyline of the buildings so i think i'm just going to end up adding flowers or something in those things i haven't really done i haven't really done too much with flowers as of lately and i do love those things so yeah i might as well move on with that but then i was already bored so i was like eh, i'm just gonna build on uh build some buildings again because that's also necessary and yeah these towers are just going to be very similar to the first tower of course they're going to be slightly different and i definitely did not want to copy paste anything i don't think anything is paste copy pasted in this park which is uh kind of an achievement i'd say because usually i like copy pasting some things especially when building uh, towers or skyscrapers but not happening today and yeah so these towers are going to be awfully similar but not exactly the same so it's still going to have a similar effect, but, you know, I generally recommend to not copy and paste anything. Copy, uh, keep it as minimal as you can. Of course, I said that I sometimes copy and paste skyscrapers, and yeah, that makes sense, as long as the floors are the same. And as long as something is the same and is meant to be the same all throughout the thing, whatever it may be, then it might be okay to copy and paste things. But buildings with loads of different details, you shouldn't copy and paste that. You should never, ever copy paste foliage. Uh, even though it might save you so much time, it's just going to look less natural in the end. And other things are generally uncopy pasteable. You can't just copy paste paths. There's no way that's going to work out with all the curves and stuff like that. So I suppose you shouldn't really worry too much about that. But although I like the feature in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, it does take a away a bit of realism sometimes so I like to keep it minimal but of course I also like to s save myself some time so sometimes it really does come in handy but anyway I think I am uh, definitely digressing at this point yeah but then again these towers are awfully similar to the towers that I've placed before hmm also have I said yet yeah, this is not going to be a small and uh, large episode as you can obviously tell by the timer it's just nine minutes I don't know if I actually want to make these episode longer, episodes longer or shorter because right now I every time lapse is about 1 hour and 40 minutes to 2 hours worth of time lapse footage and I'm not really sure if I want to make that longer or shorter. Probably not shorter but I'm not too sure about the 9 minute long uh, time lapses. But oh well I think I'll just keep it like this because it's nice for me as well because I don't, I don't have to spend too much time behind my computer not doing anything else. And I don't have to spend too much time commentating over it because after a while I also just kind of calm down. And uh, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I suppose it's not an amazing thing. And uh, I think this is kind of a, an okay length. But I might make some longer episodes. And if I do real-time episodes, which I might do at some point again, then I am definitely going to make longer episodes. But so far, I suppose I'm content with the length of them. And this is all just more details shenanigans. Though that was uh, Moby's something that I added at that point. Because I just felt like I want to have base walls everywhere. I don't even know if this is realistic, but I just have a base wall fetish in the game. You might as well say that. Because every building needs a base wall. I mean, of course buildings have foundations, but I am not even entirely sure whether every single building should and would have a base wall. But I just like the look of it. So I'd say, go for it. At least that's what I like to do. And then I add window shenanigans again. Because 
th there is this problem, and I'm sure I've talked about this earlier on, but it just keeps bugging me. It's the fact that Station Gym's window are amazing. I can just place them and be like, ah, oh, yes. And then I can just freeze the game and then just look at it, look at that window and admire it. But then again, I zoom out and the window's gone, and that just irritates me because they're so amazing. But then again, I can't use them because the render distance is too damn small. So there's no real way to fix that. So I just I just decided to go with I mean these are Station Gym's windows of course in Zero G's things, but it's not quite the same. And then there is uh, Catfish Cove, which also has some really nice windows. I suppose that Catfish Cove, despite uh, not really not really meant for that, is kind of the set for the windows for the Alpine series because the Alpine Village series only have a couple of good windows, and I usually use the windows in Catfish Cove for all my Alpine buildings. But as you see, also for my other types of buildings, because the windows in Catfish Cove are just simple, but they have a nice render distance. Of course, they don't really lose too much detail when you zoom out. And they're not too detailed, they don't cause lag, but they also look pretty good. And yes, that's just my opinion on those windows. So I would recommend anyone using those things. And at that point I was like, yeah, I need to add something to that little uh, side thing over there. But just decided to go with a boring old overused window that I've used 10,000 times in this park. I don't know if it's really a good idea to overuse a window like that, but... I suppose I didn't have any other option. And then I decided to place a flat ride over here because this was an empty area and I still don't have too many flat rides in this park. If I remember correctly, I have the, um, the, what's that thing called again? It's, it's called a, a Gravitron in Rollercoaster Tycoon because I just played that. But, uh, no, it's, it's called, uh, I don't know, a topspin? Yeah, I think that's, yeah, that is the name. That's, except this one is Telocan or something like that. And, um... I think I caught the in-game one Lancelot. But anyway, I've got that ride. I've got the hopper, so that's two. I've got the weird carousel, that's three. And I think that's it. That's three flat rides. That is extremely underwhelming. Especially for a park of this size. So th that's four with this thing. But I still definitely want to add a small area with more of those things because I have three roller coasters. And three roller coasters and four flat rides doesn't really work out. I need many more flat rides in this park. So I'll just see where I, where I can fit those things in. Because I do like to go for a kind of realistic flat ride slash coaster ratio. Despite not going for entire realism in this park, I still do kind of want to keep the attractions realistic in that sense. And this is going to be the area where I want to add all those flat rides. Perhaps a kids area, I'm not too sure about that. I might also move that and move that to another area where I don't even have flat rides except just a playground and very small flat rides like a carousel and um, a chair swing or something like that and then call that a kids area and um, basically I'm all over the place especially with my time lapse because at that point I was like nah I don't want to work on that either and I started working on a building over here and that building by the way is not going to serve any function I also have no clue how I'm actually going to finish that building the only thing that I decided was I decided I'm going to build a building over there and that's when I started placing random shapes. Yeah, that's pretty much what I did over there. I have no idea if that's actually going to work out, or if that was a good idea after all, but... Yeah, that was just how I decided to force myself to actually get something in there. Because right now, the, the thing that I have with this park is I keep working on new things because I have an idea. I'm like, oh, I should work on this as well. But then I just leave my other thing unfinished. So, right now, I left the uh, coaster unfinished, and the station, and this building, and the kids' area. Even that flat ride over there on top of the hill next to the invert. So yeah, loads of things to do, but I'll do that in the next episode. So, see you.